match would it be? The match is, um, you know, nothing. I, I'd like to give uh, sometimes. I don't want to sugarcoat it. I want to have straight up wrestling matches, some tag matches. Uh, no hold bars. With with Rob Van Dam as my cage. tag team partners, yeah, I think uh, I think we could do some good stuff off a of cage. Uh, one of my biggest, uh, actually, I wrestled in a couple cages in my career, and mm -hmm. one of my uh, biggest moments is uh, it's a move I do where I usually come a top rope in those hardcore matches, and I put a garbage metal garbage can over my head, mm -hmm. and I do a backflip onto my opponent. Ooh! Now already that's that very start. dangerous. You can't <laughs> see where you're going, and you know. You're sacrificing your body to inflict uh -huh. more pain on your opponent. Now, in one cage show, I climbed to the top of the cage, put the garbage can, and jumped off, backflip, mm -hmm. and the crowd, uh, the crowd was going nuts. And it was again, it was maybe an unnecessary risk that I took, putting my life and my career on the line. Mm -hmm. But um, I had to outdo myself. The bar was set, and I just wanted to lift it up for myself and for mm -hmm. all the people watching so uh with rob van Dam, a cage match or no holes barred would be good tables ladders and chairs match so i think something like that with with the rock rick flair and stone cold steve austin though just to get to be in the ring with them in a regular standard match just to to watch them work that's uh that would be enough for me to make my I'm, dream come true i'm sure that you would entertain any kind of fan yeah <laughs> <laughs> Three angels tell you the mic is yours. What would you say to all your fans out there who are watching you wrestling with a dream? Three angels putting me on the spot right now. They're telling Sexy Eddie to talk to you people why you want to see me. First off, I would love to visit your beautiful country, but better yet, I want to visit your beautiful, curvy women. That's what I'm talking about. Straight out of the pages of Playboy magazine, you got Sexy Eddie coming in your face. And uh, let me tell you something. I'm coming straight from very Long Beach, California. I'm bringing the gun show. I'm bringing my world famous tongue. And the five pounds of... Well, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I'll be bringing it down to you guys live. That's why you want to see wrestling in your town. You want to be entertained. You're going to want to see Sex Yeti live, in person, in action, in the ring tonight, baby. <laughs> On behalf of Three Angels Power Film Production Inc., I thank you deeply from the bottom of my heart today for being here with us. Uh, we would also like to thank you for sharing with us your precious memories about your life wrestling with a dream. Uh, we wish you the best of luck and nothing less. Lots of success in your career. We thank you for becoming a part of our journey and our history. Three Angels is your fan, your supporter, and hoping to see you on the top like always. Thank you for being here. Thank you us. very much for having me. No problem. Fans all over, stay tuned for more Wrestling with a Dream episodes coming your way. They called him Pete, the wrestler. He started off wrestling in parks and then he was wrestling in the forum. He was with Yvonne Robert's team, which he wrestled like people like Yukon Eric, and the last one, very well known from the States, which was called Killer Kowalski. That was my dad, and today this is my son. Thank you. I think that wrestling is one of the, I think, um, probably one of the most influential and versatile uh, forms of entertainment because um, so many people that started out as wrestlers mm -hmm. became governors, mayors, actors, uh, stuntmen, musicians, from every, they've gotten to go um, to every different world.
which is so interesting because it opens up a lot of doors.